This video was filmed under the influence of Killebrew Root Beer with the Hall of Fame taste. As a bike mechanic, the safety of the rider is in your hands, so always drink responsibly. Alcohol and wrenches do not mix. Hey Calvin, you done with your work and ready for a cold one? One more click and I'm done and you can beer me. All right. Yeah, done, let's do it. I think I gotta QC this rig. That's a good point. My job might, might not be done. Let's see. Oh, the shifting seems all right. Oh, jeez, what's going on back there? Oh my goodness, there seems to be a major imbalance in the force. In the centripetal force? I think it's centrifugal force. Well, that's the type of thing to argue about on Tech Talks on this week's Beer, Beer Files. Files. One of the beer files does those things that we argue about that may or may not be important, but are best done over a cold one. You bet. But here, I think we were just tricking them. Clearly, it's just this dumb pedal wrench. I've been looking for that all afternoon. I think I fixed it, Truman. Give me a pedal here. Hold your tauntauns now. Let's check it out. It'd be smooth and nice, huh? Man, just watching that chain go up and down, I think we have some problems. I think there's still an imbalance in this force. Can you feel something there in your arm? Oh yeah, it's whomping, it's whomping away. Womp, 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 womp. Almost harmonic, it is a resonance. It's slow resonance, but it's there. But you know what? Who cares? Does it matter? Is it slowing us down? Costing us wattage? I don't know, how about Handling. Can we make money on it? Ah, now we're talking. We're into it. So. Crack open a cold one with us viewers. We're digging in to wheel imbalance. All right, viewers, let's hear from you. Have you ever balanced your wheels? If you have, has it made you faster? Has it made you stronger? Has it made you a better person? Did you perceive that it was easier to move? And explain why. Explain why in a comment. The best answer, not necessarily the most accurate answer, is gonna get a couple koozies in the mail. So leave us some comments, some feedback. We wanna know from you. My two cents, I don't get these, I got one. But for wattage, I don't think it's doing a thing. Let's say I have five kilograms right here going around and it's permanent, it's out of balance, but it's costing me energy every time it rotates, but then I get that back, don't I? No, it's inefficient. And remember, to balance this, I have to add more weight, not good. If you can balance by taking weight away, yeah, maybe, maybe I would see that. Are there other things besides wattage? Yeah, so full suspension riders, Think of yourself riding down the hill, the ground, there's, you're hitting bumps, you're hitting bumps, and they're coming up, they're acting on your suspension. But then your wheel, it's got the womps in it, front and rear, it's going like this, making the bike pulsate. It could be affecting your suspension and how efficient it's working. Mm hmm The little valve, am I compressing? Am I rebounding? I don't know anymore, because I got the womp womps. Other handling, possibly, that's our roadie people. Very light front ends, very skinny, fast, smooth wheels, setting up a shimmy or harmonic resonance, definitely possible. Skinny tubes, skinny tires, skinny arms, it can happen. So possibly, I could argue over that it could happen. Enough theory. Let's see how this can be done. Anytime we wanna do measuring work like this, it means possibly new tools. And that's what I was trying to build here. So my thought first was to have a simple horizontal technique. I'm hanging it from the center. Any imbalance is gonna show up by not being flat. Actually, it didn't work well, Truman. Friction in the system somewhere was not repeatable. Could not get repeatable results. That science tells me this ain't science. So we got something else. So we ended up going with this setup then we're gonna call it the BM1 setup. We have a TS4, we've taken some bearings, we've removed the seals, we've flushed them out with some, uh, with some cleaner, 
And now, and then we put a threaded rod through the center of the bearing, through the hub, to through the other bearing, and it is providing very, very little friction. So when we spin this wheel, even if just a touch, wait for it, we're oh. gonna find the heavy spot of this wheel. We've slowed down the womp. So we're seeing down here a heavy spot. What we're gonna try and do is manipulate the mass of our wheel to put the center, the center of that axle in the middle of the center of gravity. We know that we have reached balanced nirvana when we can move this wheel to any position and it simply stays no matter the rotation. We're not there yet. Not quite, let's fix it. So we've got our heaviest point here, mm -hmm. blue label, solid blue label. I'm gonna take this weight, sticky tack, and pop it right up here, directly opposite our heavy spot. Mm -hmm. Countering the other weight with more weight. That's right. Just keep on adding. So I'm gonna move a little bit, just, just let go and uh, not bad, and then not bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. We're gonna ride with sticky tape? Ooh, no. I think we have to go with a better solution than this. What so, are we gonna use? We're gonna take this off. Now pop it on our scale here. Huh, huh. three grams. Just so happens we have this water gremlin fishing weight, because we're here in Minnesota, where we have 10,000 lakes to fish on. Well, plus or, mano. Plus or minus <laughs> a couple. And we're gonna pop this right onto this top spoke. A little crimping action with the pliers, not our teeth. Because we don't wanna ingest you know, lead. Yeah, it's not good. So, we think we've achieved pretty good results, but Truman. Whoa. Th it shouldn't affect it, huh? Let's find out. Yeah. Womp. And then the ring. We've introduced the womps again. We've got more womps than we did before. Well, we can leave that weight there, or do we We're start starting. over from oh. the top? Poor weight. And off. So here we go again. Very much fun. Yeah. Is it the, the heaviest point? No. It's, it is sharing with, our other heavy point was here. Our other heavy point, so it's We're splitting. Sp splitting it between them, that's interesting. Now, what's going on here? This is an extruded aluminum rim. Is it exactly the same thickness all the way through? Apparently not. We've got some more mass right here yep. than these other spots. So, let's, keep, let's again. find out what's going on here. I think we'll need a little bit more weight this time, but let's try here. Let's try just the one. Goes right back. More. 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 Too much. Too much. Too much. So it's it's a little bit of a finicky process. Mm -hmm. Oh. What is going on here? Still a little too much. Or oh, yeah. or did we introduce? We have now found the third. Heavy spot. So we, this was it. This was it. Now it's here. We're gonna start small. That's right. So two points. It was good, but we want it three hundred and sixty. Mm-hmm. So we've added weight in three points. It's interesting. Yes, it mm. is. Clearly we're done. 
Perfectly balanced, yes? Yeah, perfectly balanced wheel. Oh, but we're missing tires. Clearly, perfectly balanced. I'm mm -hmm. sure the bass is evenly distributed. Yes? What do you think, audience? One way to find out. Like magic, the tire's on, and it must be perfect. Huh. Seems as if we still have a disturbance in the force. Yes. We have not gotten rid of the womps. The tire has some mass distribution issues. Start over. Now, let's see what we get. We've achieved it. It's perfect. Are we done? Well, Womp, womp, womp. Not quite, we gotta add more mass, and yes, it changes it. A fluid, sure, it's gonna distribute when we ride first day. But we've all taken tires off, and we see now it's sticking in different parts of the tire, different parts of the rim. It's actually not that even. So, something you should do every ride? Well, sometimes, balance in your life might be more important than balance in the wheel. So let's hear from you. Do you balance every ride? Halfway through a ride? Does your friend balance his wheels? Do your parents balance their wheels? We'll see you next time on The Beer Files. Thanks for watching. You can find hundreds more videos like this one on our channel here on YouTube. And we're constantly working on more. So be sure to subscribe for the latest content from Park Tool. And check out our website, which has even more content to help you make your bike better.